Hey, sports card fans. It's John, Wade Boggs fan. Today, I am doing a video response for Scott at Reindeer Studios. He's doing a contest to celebrate him reaching 1,000 subscribers. Scott, congratulations. Big milestone. If you haven't checked out Scott's channel, you really need to. Uh, great guy, great content. I will put a link to his channel in the description of this video. All right, so what Scott wants us to do for a video response, with him being an artist and a very good artist, he wanted us to put together a baseball lineup made up of art cards. Now, the art cards could be anything from an actual artist hand-drawn card to uh, a card that was designed with a picture of a player as opposed to an actual photograph on the card. So a wide range of possibilities uh, to do there. I could have easily gone into my vintage collection and put together a really good lineup. I could have pulled my Christy Mathewson, Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, Stan Musial, Hank Aaron, but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit. So I went through several boxes of just my regular old baseball cards and looked for cards that had an, an artist rendering uh, image to them. And I think I put together a pretty solid lineup. So Scott, here is my art card baseball lineup. Okay, leading off, batting first, center fielder, Ty Cobb. And this is a 1983 Donruss Hall of Fame Heroes card with uh, Dick Perez on, featured uh, on the front, his artwork. Neat image there of our painting of Ty Cobb. This is what the backs look like. I believe it's a 44 or 45 card set. So, yep, leading off, Ty Cobb. Batting second, playing third base. Hmm, this was a tough one, but no. I picked Wade Boggs, of course. Now, um, as I've mentioned in different videos, I have over like 900 different art cards. Um, not all of them artist renderings. Some of them have, most of them have actual photography that they put a card together. But there is one artist that I really like, and I have about probably around eight to ten of his cards. And the artist's name is John S. Hatton. And this is one here that he did back in 2016. And these are one of one um, art drawings. And it's in the design of the 1953 top set. Just love this card. Uh, he's it was either between this one, a 1956 design, or his 1952 design. Um, all three of them were great, but this one, I just love the image of Boggs. Um, I try to pick up as many of his art cards as I can. Uh, there was recently, though, one that came up. I think it was maybe a 50, 55 tops design, I want to say, and it went for like 130 bucks. <laughs> Uh, so way more than I, I thought it would uh, go for. So unfortunately I was out of the running on that one, but, uh, I do own, like I said, about at least eight, may maybe 10 of, of his art cards, um, blank back, but there's his, uh, autograph there, uh, one of one. And he did that back in 2016. Again, John S. Hatton. So there's Wade Boggs batting second, playing third base. Batting third. At first base, Lou Gehrig. And this is the 2017 Tops Gallery. And I think it's a uh, insert card because uh, it's HOF 17. So I think it's the Hall of Fame Gallery insert uh, from 2017. And you can see there the artwork on the front was by Dan Bergen. Uh, in fact, I think I have a Dan Bergen um, sketch 
card of Wade Boggs, a one of one, I believe. Um, but Dan Bergen is also a good artist as well. And that's a cool image there of Lou Gehrig. So uh, he was uh, batting third in my lineup. Batting cleanup. The great Bambino, Babe Ruth. Now, this is a 2007 Upper Deck Gaudi, uh, meant to imitate the 1939 Gaudi set. And here's the back. It has that, that look of the 1939 Gaudi. But it has that uh, little caricature drawing of him. Now, it does have a... a photograph of his face but the whole card is has that art design to it so I have Ruth uh, with this card batting cleanup batting fifth playing left field Ted Williams and I went with the 83 Donruss uh, Hall of Fame heroes uh, set as well another Dick Perez uh, painting um, I thought it was a really good likeness there of Ted Williams. There's the back of that. Again, just gives a little bit of a brief background, a little bio on the player. So there's Ted Williams batting fifth. Batting sixth and playing right field, we have Stan the Man Musial. And this is from the 2014 Gypsy Queen set. So not very often that you see most of the images you see of uh, Musial or of him hitting um, at some point. But here's just a, just a casual laid back um, look of him just either in the outfield or during warm ups or something like that. So I thought that was a really cool artist uh, rendering image of him there's the back as most gypsy queens are it's a pretty basic back all right batting seventh shortstop onus wagner and this is the third and, and final uh copy of the 83 donors hall of fame heroes uh, Dick Perez, again, uh, the artist, uh, he did the entire set. I thought that was a pretty cool image of him. And again, there's the brief bio. Batting eighth, catcher, Yogi Berra. From 2013, Allen and Ginter. Oh, that was a really cool image of Barra. I don't know who the artist is uh, that was uh, um, hired to do the Allen and Ginter, but uh, that's a pretty cool uh, drawing. It's probably done from a photograph, but again, I, it looks like the artist rendering uh, possibly of a photograph, just like the old you know, vintage cars from the 50s did. And there's the back. Batting ninth, playing second base, Jackie Robinson. Now, the card I have of Jackie is from the 1997 Fan Fest. It was a, this is part of a five card set. I was torn between this one and the remake of the uh, 48 Leaf card, but I went with the 52 Tops design here. I, I just love the 52 tops design here of Jackie Robinson. Uh, as you can see, it's the, the all-star game, the fan fest. Um, it may be hard to pick up in the camera here, but uh, that has a sort of a foil, like a, a dark copper foil uh, background to it. And here's the back. Unfortunately, I have all five cards of the set, but if you look at the corners here, this one card out of the five, uh, I bought the set on eBay, I don't know, years ago or something like that, and this one just has two dinged corners. All the other cards are nice and sharp, but uh, um, I don't know, one day I may look to, to replace this, but uh, anyway, 
it is a really cool uh, artist rendering of the artist designed 52 tops Jackie Robinson. So I thought I would include this one. And then finally, picture. Oh, by the way, uh, Babe Ruth was a designated hitter. Uh, pitching, Christy Mathewson. Now, here is one artist that um, I've seen his work on uh, Facebook, and I think he's, he's on uh, Twitter as well. Um, I think it's Greg Crindler. Hope I pronounced it uh, Craig, Craig Crindler. Anyway, uh, he does full blown um, portrait, you know, uh, uh, paintings and stuff. But he also does these little business cards, these uh, tobacco sized business cards. And that is a um, painting he did of Christy Mathewson. Just amazing work. Here's the back of it. Crindler Paintings Baseball Series. And there's his uh, website if you want to go uh, check it out. Craig Crindler, Crindler, I think. Sorry about that if I butchered it. Uh, but really cool. And again, he just his work is just amazing. And he focuses on primarily pre-war baseball players, uh, especially in the 1900s to 1920s type players. Um, the, the, the colors and the detail that he puts into those paintings is just amazing. Uh, if I ever hit the lottery, I'm going to have him commission something for me because I would just love to have something of his. But um, anyway, there you go. There is my art card starting lineup. Um, Scott, congratulations again on 1,000 subscribers. Um, good luck to everyone in the contest. This was fun putting together. Um, again, go check out Scott Reindeer Studios' channel. That's all I have for you, as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.